Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be doing a tutorial and review using the brand new Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette 2. This beautiful palette right here. There is some insane amount of shades in this palette and I think I went for something a little bit different, definitely different, definitely something that I'm not used to. So guys, let's get into the tutorial. I am super excited to try this palette. I can't. I received it today and I literally, I was like, right, okay, let's just have a little sneak peek, see, just get a feel for things, let's see, let's see what it's like. And I kid you not, I literally looked at it and I was like, oh, the packaging's nice. Like, I can't really remember what the first palette was like. I should probably get it out because I do have it somewhere. But I literally opened it like this and my face dropped. I was literally like, I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe the colours. Like, I actually wish that I waited to open it so that you guys could have seen my reaction because I was just sitting by myself like, oh my god, right, okay, let's have a little look, let's see what it's like. And literally my face was like, I just couldn't believe the vibrance and the colours and the range. And, and this black shade here, Temptress, I was like, I need to use that shade. So I'm going to see what look I go for what shades I use, I am very tempted by this black shade and it's drawing me in a lot. So, so I've already prepped my eyes using the Fenty Beauty concealer. Right, I'm gonna go in with Comfort Zone first. I've just swatched that on my hand. It's a very nice neutral transitional shade, but it, it also looks almost like it's got like a pink undertone to it as well. So let's see, let's go in with this one first. Pigment is there. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have dipped in twice because a lot of pigment is there. If you can see it, you might not be able to see it, but if you can see it, the eyeshadow isn't sticking to that part of my eye very well and it is simply just because there's a dry patch there. Right, I think I'm going to, before I lose control, stop with this eye. <laughs> I'm really liking how this is blending out and the actual pigment to this colour as well, like, it's beautiful. It's such a nice shade. Okay, 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 okay. I am liking that. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the shade Thick Skin. That is a nice, like, burnt orange shade there. That may be a little bit too much on my brush. We'll see. Um, I was saying I can't really remember what the first original palette was like but these shadows feel so creamy like so soft and smooth and they're just blending out so so nicely as well as having like all that pigment there as well okay now that is a nice shade hmm I like okay I like that they're just, it's just blending so, so effortlessly. Like, I feel like I've hardly put anything on there and it's just blended so effortlessly. I really like this. I'm actually liking the bright look right now. I did say that I wanted to go with this black shade, but I'm just really liking how this is looking right now. I am now going to go in with the shade... Do I want to add this black? Maybe under the eye. Maybe under. Under. How am I thinking? Hmm, underneath? Would that work? It might work. I'm going to go in the shade Ride or Diamonds. So, this is this beautiful shimmer shade. Now, that pigment, like, it is just shining. Ride or diamonds. It is glowing like a diamond. I still really want to use the black. Like, my eye is so drawn to it. Right, let's see. Okay. 
So that didn't pick much up from my brush. Let's try again. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That is better. I do feel like in order to like build that up, I've had to put quite a lot on my brush. Which is the only thing. Let's try with the finger. That's a whole lot better. Yeah. That's a lot better already. <sighs> I've just tried the shades Get Ready With Me on my left side and I do think that I'm liking this shade a lot more. I feel like it blends out really nicely. I'm, I'm not sure about this shade. I don't know if I'm feeling it. I think I'm going to take that off that side and go in with Get Ready With Me on both eyes because I just, I don't know. Although it's like a shimmer, I feel like it's a very chunky shimmer. Unless it's supposed to be a glitter, but to me, I don't know. I'm just not. I'm not feeling that shade. Yeah, I feel like that looks a whole lot better. I kind of feel like that matches the eye look that I've went for a lot more. Um, that glitter, I don't know. I just feel like on me it wasn't sitting right. So I just don't think it suited me. Um, the glitter itself definitely pigmented. But like I say, I did have to put quite a lot on my brush in order to to actually get the pigment off it. However, this shimmer, I haven't put much work into it at all. Um, and I feel like that's sitting really nicely. I actually like that a lot more. Okay guys, I'm just gonna quickly go away and do the rest of my face makeup. I really wanna go in with this black shade under my eye line. Now, that could be very dangerous, but it could also work. So, I'm gonna be back and we will see exactly how it looks and if it works or not. Okay, so the majority of the face makeup is done. Now just to go in with underneath my eyes. So I did mention that I want to go in with this black shade. I still think I do. It's really drawn me in and I just can't, like, I just can't take my eyes off of it. And I just think I need to use it. And if it all goes wrong, it's fine because, you know, we're learning. Got to do what you got to do. You have to try things. So the shade I use on top... I am just going to smoke this out. Wow. That pigment. Okay, here goes. Okay. I definitely like this black shade. I think that it is very, very, very nice black and it's pigmented. However, I do feel like if I had went in at the top with black as well, that might have sat a little bit nicer. So let's just see if I can fully smoke this out. Or fully ruin it. Who knows? Okay, now that's sitting a lot nicer with me. I'm definitely feeling this look a whole lot more now. Um, I don't know what it is. I feel like that black has just added like so much depth and just... It's a nice black. Like, it also has a slight shimmer to it as well. So like there's actually a shimmer throughout it. That's just a swatch on the back of my hand. And... It is not, it's, it's a matte black, but there is definitely some shimmer to it as well. Okay, so guys, overall, I feel like this palette has so much, so much to it. Like, you have so many beautiful colours in this shade, in this shade, in this palette. And then you also have, like, your deep, dark tones, like the blacks, the purples, like, I'm feeling it. I mean, I think I did go a little bit adventurous with this look. I'm not used to black shadows. I literally always go for like golds and like browns and oranges. Like I'm not used to this kind of look. However, I do quite like how it's turned out. First, I think this is actually my first time using a black shadow as well. So I could definitely work on using black shadows. And I think I'm definitely going to 
practice a whole lot more with this palette. I am going to put, be putting up some videos on my Instagram as well, so be sure to follow my Instagram account, Beauty with Rianne. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.